Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Why are you coming in here? Why are you talking to my child? You weren't invited in here. What is wrong with this apartment building? What is wrong with him? Why did you do that? What is he doing? I don't understand. <laughs> he looks very evil villainy right now in that getup. Or else like he's about to announce the next iPhone. One or the other. Maybe a bit of both. Yeah, see, we're gonna have to get rid of someone, see? And I'm thinking this guy. He doesn't contribute anything except being the only worker of the house and the only income. Time to wake up. No time for sleep. It is time for exercise. Good luck, my friend. Welcome to your new home in Sandtrap Flats, a secluded neighborhood with a giant telescope, a mystery shed, and a rocket pad. The shed may or may not contain containment pods, which are suitable up to three people, with used refrigerators, a rusty stove, and broken easels. Make this house a home today. <laughs> What's wrong with that man? Like, there's a bathroom right in the house. Wait, he died! In the time between me getting up and ringing him and saying, hey, come over here, he died. Ah. <laughs> Plead, no. I just want to introduce myself. It was his time to go, all right? It worked. Oh, oh wait. Wait. Oh, God. Uh, death, I got another one for you. <laughs> he's just eating, he walks straight over him and he's just like, mm. At least I get some entertainment when I get to eat things. I gotta kill again so I can talk to that Grim Reaper, he's so dreamy. He's like running down the street like, hi. <laughs> I'm for jog, not getting involved. <laughs> I wonder if they're suspicious of Jim because... He doesn't, he doesn't seem concerned. He seems to be enjoying it very much. He introduces himself before he freaking panics. The whole neighborhood is here. Just have a little cry. Didn't know him, but gonna cry. Uh -huh. Oh god, he's performing some ritual. I think it's pretty obvious who did this. Happy birthday, my baby girl. <laughs> Blow out the candles, honey. Honey, I want to introduce you to death. Come on, nobody even knew who he was. <laughs> That was the goofiest smile. <laughs> she sees her freaking parents locked underground with these art easels and she's like, oh yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, there's a protest going on. Jim does not like this noise. I'm protesting your protest. And for my next trick. Yeah, sorry about that, but you started the protest and well, you don't get off as lightly as just being frozen. Well, this has been a fun day out. Here we go. Jim, wake up. Your friend is here. Oh, he's going quite peacefully. I'm not used to that. Oh, hey, Death. Didn't see you there. I didn't see you come in. I was just taking a little nap, you know? You don't get this good looking without some beauty sleep. Jim is just complaining that he smells. <laughs> Work for Aaron starts in one hour. He's even a ghost in the freaking alert. Oh, that's so weird. Rudy just burst into flames for no apparent reason. <clears throat> Again, just total coincidence. She's like, what's what's going on in here, I wonder? Why are you laughing so much? Hmm. Oh, no! But she's energized. He has fallen. And he cannot get up. A nice big hug for death. Express admiration. I can't think of anything more fitting. We made a lot of progress with death today. Yeah, I know I was like hitting on you earlier and stuff, but I'm your new dad. Uh, what would a dad do in this situation? Rave about favorite singers, I imagine. Look, look, I know your dad just died, okay? But I love Fleetwood Mac. Uh, uh, <laughs> Quaxina! What? Where's she going? Oh dear. I'm not sure what I've done. That did it. She's dying from the embarrassment. Man, killing people sure makes me hungry. <laughs> Even these strangers are crying. You actually liked the girl. This has never been performed before. Oh, he looks determined. The kiss of death, everybody. <laughs> oh, he embraced it. He likes that. Well, at least he went out on a high. He's just out here waiting for him. Just like your son, you will go gracefully. Don't worry. That's poisoned, by the way. I just wanted you to go humanely. 
Oh, he didn't want you to go peaceful into the night suffering. And that's how a man feels after he kills an entire family. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're playing The Sims 4. This is a long-running series, so for all of you new subscribers, and there's a lot of you, thank you for that by the way, I've prepared a little rundown, because by looking around the house, you can instantly see there are, uh, issues. We started our journey in the year 1503 as John Earp, the happy-go-lucky fellow with the four arms of a god. We moved in across the hall from Jim Pickens and made lots of babies with lots of women. Fast forward and Jim moves in. The focus shifts to Jim. He ruins the family and moves on. He gets his own house and builds chambers in the basement and starts a cult. And now here we are. <laughs> Classic. Sims. It's a real shame that most of the people I know are dead. Because this could be a whole lot easier. Oh my god, I almost got a heart attack. It's Jim Pickens gonna die, not Jim Pickens. Plead. I'm gonna plead. We're, we're friends. We go way back. You don't understand. I know he's worthless, but he makes me paintings and he's getting good. They're like thinking, oh, Jim's coming. He's gonna try and convince him to kill him. Ah, uh, it fell on deaf ears. That's sad. I mean, not really from a personal perspective, but from a financial perspective, that's sad. But hey, I got a new urn for the collection. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. The Erp seed. Wait, he died? Erp is dead, folks! He's gone. At least he died of old age. He went peacefully. No, I can't just let you starve in there. Jim's gonna set you free. Oh, he's going in for the move. Oh. How romantic. Oh. Oh, well, that's what you get for kissing Satan. She's feeling very embarrassed, even though she's on fire. I'd, I'd probably be feeling more than embarrassed if I were her. She's gone, folks. Oh, he came back to have a little laugh. He got bored of just standing there while she was burning. He said he'd come back later when she was done. Oh, this is dark. This is very dark. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, she likes that. You see, now we're friends. It's a shame that was the kiss of death. <laughs> when you realize what's... Oh, no, this doesn't look right. Uh, Jim, move over here. Anyway, what I was going to say, when you realize you've been pranked, dot JPEG. That's, that's a meme, guys. <laughs> Jim, BJ, and uh, Yusuf. Yeah. Inseparable. Don't worry, eat up, Yusuf. They're... Uh, not poisoned or anything. No, they legit aren't poisoned though. Uh, this might be it. Yeah, sorry about that. Just a little practical joke I do. Yeah, you're probably gonna die now. <laughs> it's like gross. I'm gonna plead for him because to be honest, I didn't have anything against him. Yusuf, you owe me big time for saving your life. I know I was the reason you were dying, but that doesn't matter right now. That's in the past. <laughs> Oh, he is eager. <laughs> Holy crap, he's burning him fast. Jesus. We didn't even use the cremation. This poor guy, he just got to this neighborhood. <laughs> oh. Now oh, he's warming himself. I think with the fire and this man burning alive, it might be warm enough in that room. But you know what? You work away. You be you, Jim. You warm yourself. Wait, I can invite him? I thought he was dead, but okay, yeah, invite him. See what, see what happens. What the fuck? He's right there! Alright, we gotta get passionate about this killing, because clearly I just phoned it in last time. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get out of the basement? Someone from my cult got out! He's running away. I didn't have anything to do with this. Oh no, what happened here? I just- I just turned up. You don't understand, I am you. <laughs> Look at them getting so angry at each other. They're like sizing each other up. The difference is, I can do this. Yeah, that's right. I just drowned you in your own pee. Get over it. I'm glad they seem to have cheered up, though. Shame something always has to happen to ruin the moment, am I right? Well, I gotta get the money somehow, bud. Yeah, sorry I had to be in such a cartoony fashion in front of you like that. He just walks away like, fuck it, I'm... Yeah, sorry about that. He doesn't even care. <laughs> he's heartless. Just gives a little swirl like, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, no, wait, he's just as weak as everyone else. Okay, not sure why you're hanging out here, but you're not ruining my wedding. Oh, she's about to die. Should we go down? I mean, we really need the bathroom. You know what? I'll go down. Fear not, I have arrived. Oh, she's dead. And it's cool because it's like the stock delivers itself, right? There we go. A customer and a delivery all in one. Oh, Jim's getting in the middle. Be the center of attention and all that. 
All right, now that you've all gathered around, time to impress the crowd. Do a bit of singing. Oh, no, he's back to laughing. I don't think the Grim Reaper's coming, man. I think he's, uh, he's busy. He's here. Fashionably late as usual, you little minx. All right, Jim, time for the after party. Oh, God. What the hell? What is going on? Okay, brilliant. Now this wedding will never be forgotten. Oh, she doesn't mind being burned. She's like, eh, whatever. I can take it or leave it. Oh, this one too. She's not that bothered either. What about that guy in the park? Is he upset about this or is he okay? Oh no, he's he's dead. Oh, where was this person? I don't know, did they just run from the event or were they just locals that I burnt instead of the guests by accident? But, uh, people are dying. Oh, here goes another one. Oh, and another one. Another one bites the dust. Ah, what's he doing? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why he was panicking. It's not over fire, as that little tab would suggest. It's just because this naked man is bathing. Wait, what's going on? Oh, another person's dying. Oh, in a very cartoony fashion. I've got a plan. There's only one man who can help me now. And here he is. I know what you're thinking. How can this man help me? You know what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> your enemies can be the perfect... Distraction. Time to get upstairs and steal those prezzies. Okay, stop laughing. That's not a very Santa Claus thing to be doing. Grim is just in the next room waiting for them to stop crying so it won't be awkward. Wait, who owns this urn? Who's that? Oh, wait, yeah, no, I remember who that is. Never mind. We'll leave that there for now. Him. Oh, God. There's only one way out of this. Oh, Sorry, man. You just, you found out I was a bad vet and I had no way out of this. I just had to kill you. Oh, my God. What's happening to your dog? No. Somebody help that dog! Please! Make it stop! Make it stop! This isn't what I wanted when I opened the veterinary clinic! Oh god, I fixed- No, he's doing it again! The other one's doing it now too! I just wanted to be a vet! This guy doesn't even mind anymore, or else he's in shock with the dogs! Like, his neck is broken, it's bent backwards! Oh, do something, do- Friendly introduction to the dog, please just make him stop! He's getting bored! <laughs> Just talk to the dog or something, make it stop. I'm gonna have nightmares. Not the best service we've ever had. <laughs> that is very reasonable feedback. Oh, I've pissed myself. Yep, I was gonna blame it on the dogs, but no, that was just me. All was such an inconvenience. Oh, she is also dying. You will never see this room again. I don't know about an afterlife, but your life was heaven, that's for sure. Look at that glorious painting. Oh god, I have 24 hours to pay your bills. Go on, new guy, pay the bills. Here's someone crying somewhere. Ah, yes, she died in his room. Well, you're gonna be a while. The Reaper's already busy with the other one. Jules Cooper is dying from laughter. What the feck? Don't you die on me, man. What is he laughing at? Jim, you gotta really pull in one of your connections here. What? What made him laugh so much? Jules, no. You are too perfect for this world. Oh, well, I guess I am a little bit too late. I just arrived at the house and he is dying. Uh, I'll try with the Grim Reaper, but he never seems to listen to me. Maybe it will for once because, you know, you're my son and all. Are you gonna be upset for once? No, of course you're feckin' not. Wait, what? Is he also dying now? Well, at least someone got their farewell holiday, but that was my new slave. Oh, God damn it. Sick tattoo though, bro. <laughs> he wakes up like, oh. You don't feel too good, do you? Yeah, here's my other friend. That's for lying to me about your appearance, punk. Don't ever catfish me or my son ever again. <laughs> He's playing him a little farewell song. Wait, what? Why are you here? You're not here for me, are you? You look freezing, buddy. Don't worry, I'll heat you up. You know, just don't slap my date ever again. I don't even care about her, it's just a pride thing. Oh, god damn it, it's the Grim Reaper coming to take Yusuf. I just drank his plasma too. The total opposite reactions. <laughs> oh, pumpkin's dying, god damn it. Why are pumpkins always the first to go? Oh, that's really sad. What the hell? Yeah, that's right, nobody turns me down. It was a short marriage, that's for sure. Yeah, just- just watch TV. That's fine, he's just watching static. She doesn't even realize she's just asleep. She won't even notice he's gone. That was a quick marriage, we'll find someone else for her next time. She already looks annoyed, she hasn't even taken a seat, what's wrong with you? Wish this place had more friendly service, what's- 
What's the problem? I'll cheer you up, don't worry. Yeah, that's right. We have a magician. <laughs> Goodbye. You see, that's why you shouldn't complain about having it moderately bad, because it could always be worse. Someone clean up that pee I just drowned her in. Look, why is the hot dog coming out so confidently? I know how to react to this. Her final wish was I wish this place had more friendly service. She's still thinking that. Go on, plead for her. I just want to see can I save anyone eventually. Oh, I actually brought her back to life. Jesus, I don't think I've ever managed to do that before. I'm so happy. Oh, Jim is very happy about this. It's like, this food smells burnt. No, ma'am, that is you. <laughs> oh, in hell, my plant died. There we go. Okay, now they should all run outside to see what the commotion is. And then I should be free to swipe the disco system. Does no one care? Dude's on fire, yo. If only anyone cared, my plan would be perfect. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I hate to bring this realization to you like this. Yeah, go, go away. Why are you laughing? Oh, I like her. <laughs> Come on, they're all gone out to, to see him. Come on. Yes! The disco system is mine! And at a great price too, it only cost one human life. Oh my god, guys, you're gonna flood the place. Except for this person, she's daydreaming. She's like, ah, maybe I should buy a boat. What? What? That wasn't even me! How are you on fire? What the hell? That legit wasn't me, I didn't do it, I've been asleep. Uh, I think the F grade ingredients are working. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that guy just warped away out of shock. She's bringing over her meal like death. Can you check on this for me? Oh, no, she's gonna just continue eating. <laughs> he's like, it can't have been the food. Sure, he's just keeled over it in his food, but it can't have been the food. Even the guy sitting next to him is like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> Continues to eat. Oh, there she goes. What's that for? Oh, good, someone's just dead in their food again. Whew, I thought it was for me for a second. Oh, there you are. Right, while everyone's distracted, go. They're all way too busy to pay attention. Wait, I think my chef literally died from old age just now. Maybe I can plead for her. Please, she's the only one who will work for this horrible wage. Oh, thank God, she's been brought back. Okay, good, get back in the kitchen. I imagine he said something along the lines of, please, if you let her live, she will kill so many people with her cooking. It'll get you so much extra business. It's okay, folks, she's alive. But some of you may not. I'll be in a second. Wait, what? She's just dying again. I just went through this to save you. Kendrick's pissed. I don't blame him. I'm pissed too. It feels like the game is just generating random sims now. Not looking at anyone in particular. I'm just saying that people are starting to look a bit generic. <laughs> it's like my game has run out. Oh god, here goes Mr. Generic. Why was I created just to suffer? Why are we still here? Wait, what? What is going on? What? Is human dying? Oh no, he's just lying down for a little nap. What, what happened here? <laughs> it's like he's getting ready for one of those magic tricks where they cut you in half. And the kid is a separator, so he has no idea anyone's in pain. You know, I'm pretty sure he can see through that crack. <laughs> but if he can, he's happy about it. She died in the room with the kid. The kid is just dancing away, he's happy. Oh, I think that one's kind of burnt. What one, sir? Oh, sorry, I meant you. What? I think I just deleted him. Oh, I think he's in there on fire. I can hear him. Jim, stop whatever you're doing. Oh, yeah, he's in there. He's in there. Don't worry. Since no air can get into you, the fire should extinguish itself. Fires need oxygen. <laughs> he's just drinking his plasma. Oh, Picky has led a good life filled with bones, balls, and barks, but it is now time to lay down and make her way to the big dog park in the sky. To be fair, no one really cared for Picky. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. You're dying on death day. How fitting. Anyway, I best be going. Just even stick around for the reaping. <laughs> He's bored of that now. Standard deaths are just so boring these days. There goes one. <laughs> He's freezing up. Oh god. Be careful he doesn't crack, guys. Come on. Oh, these guys are burning too. It's like half the party's freezing and half of them are burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's someone else freezing to death. People don't even know which dead body to go to. Oh, is this a new one down or is this the same person? Why is no one going in the pool? Okay, swim with these people. Come on, everyone. It's swimming time. <laughs> They're all starting to freeze. Right, well, I'm going over to that nice warm fire, guys. But don't worry, I've locked the gate so you can't follow them. We've got three graves, four graves, five graves, six dead people at one party. Here comes Jim! Oh my god, look at him go! Where- uh, no, come back! Where are you going? He's just running off into the woods! 
Imagine, imagine you're out walking your dog in the woods and this is running towards you. He looks mildly bored. It's like if I see someone streaking towards me as I'm walking in the woods, I would want them to at least look happy. It's like watching the nature channel when the killer stalks his prey. I think he's more like the gazelle. Just gracefully gliding through the forest. Oh my god! My light! This is the most terrifying thing you can find in a forest. It's fucking terrifying! <sighs> Oh my god, okay, I was gonna cancel his next action, but it's death by freezing. He lasted so long, that must have been suicide by freeze, surely. He kept going out there, and he'd go out in his normal clothes. Where is Jim? I'm asking him to plead. Oh, he's there. It is a long way around, I suppose. Did it work? Yes! You can't suicide that easy, Lewis. You're not getting away from me. <laughs> oh, he must be so pissed. Look at him, he doesn't look too happy about coming back. And then Jim's expression. And since I can't bloody trust him with an arch anymore, he's gonna get a door that's locked most of the time. Oh, she's dying from the poison. No one could have seen it panning out this way. Oh no, she has died. <laughs> this was unexpected. Alright, I'm actually gonna leave that one here as like a present to whoever gets this house. I think it's a nice little display case. He's like, help, help, help. <laughs> Bartender's like, I'll get you in a second. Oh, my plant died. Oh, someone's dying over there. No, that's fine. Ignore them. I'm just gonna pack these into a lunch. Fish. No. Oh. And he finished the whole thing too. He doesn't even have like a full plate to soften his blow when he does that. Oh, Jesus. Someone's dying. At least they have something to cushion their fall. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Much better. Oh my god, it's the kids. <laughs> Oh, her head didn't even reach the plate, poor little thing. What the? Ah. What the hell? What? Project, why are you outside? You're a vampire, Jesus Christ. All right, I'll go plead for you, but can't promise anything. Oh wait, someone's dying. Who's dying? Is there someone dead around here? Are you taking someone here? What the? What is going on? How did the Grim Reaper know he was going to choke? What was he eating? This is such a weird way to die. I think this is actually for your own safety. Honestly, you were gonna kill yourself out there. Okay, good. She can be my distraction. First, a flirty introduction. Oh, she's charmed. Then light her on fire. Okay, the distraction is set. I don't... I don't think they've realized. This guy, I don't like his hat. There we go. Now everyone get distracted, please. <laughs> ah, well, at least he's enjoying himself. I forgot this was actually a dance party. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Ah, uh, too bad you weren't here earlier. Your tears could have put out the fire that killed her. Jim thinks to himself <laughs> as he eyes the camera. <laughs> what is going on? Is someone dying? Oh, someone is dying. Come on, quick, get some sad music in. I kind of forgot that my restaurant only serves bad puffer fish. Oh, there goes another one. Dun, 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 dun. Another one bites the dust. Ah. Another one bites the dust. Ah. <laughs> Uh, not right now. I'm busy, Valentina. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's naked and just choking him. Jesus, he's lost a lot of weight, man. I'm looking at him. I hope no one comes in. He's taking a long time to suffocate. All right. Phew. He's done. Well, he's scared of me. What have you done? <laughs> now you're dead, too. <laughs> Oh my god, what's he doing? Jesus Christ, I didn't even tell him to kill him. Well, we've learned if I leave him alone, he's probably gonna start murdering at will. I was just adjusting my camera and I just heard screams. I guess he really likes this house. Oh, what the hell? What the- The helicopter crashed! And this guy somehow lived, even though it landed right on him. What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Is he dead then? <laughs> I guess he died in the helicopter crash. You shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> Come here, you little woohoo blocker. How dare you? Oh my god! I didn't think he'd do that! Look at him! He could not care less! Hey, B-lister! Oh my god! Well, he just shot her. Oh, she woke up to turn off the TV. She's like, oh, I'm not dying while leaving that TV on. The amount of power that thing uses. <laughs> he's giggling away as he's mopping up the blood. <laughs>
<laughs> He's a celebrity now. He can kind of do whatever he wants. <laughs> Took a little photo of him. Put it up on your Simstagram. Hanging out with this fellow celebrity. Oh, I'm so famous. There you go. This is definitely my shortcut to fame. Oh, I must have hit the kid again and tried to hide the body by the looks of it. <laughs> Anything for thick pickings. Yabahorn. <laughs> he's just like, what the hell? <laughs> oh god, he's freaking out. I've ruined his life. <laughs> Alright, well, I stand corrected. Okay, I was wrong. Big whoop. I ruined this guy's life more than I think I've ever ruined anyone's life in The Sims. <laughs> like, it was just picked apart piece by piece. Like, he tries to care. Look at him. He just has no fucking idea what he's doing. He's smiling on the outside, but in his head, he's like, oh, I want to die. She's smiling, but inside, she's dying. Okay. Well, hopefully no one saw that. Let's get out of here. Uh... Yeah, I think I killed him. I killed him long range with a chainsaw somehow. Ah, uh, that brought my reputation all the way down to neutral. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was a feckin' headshot. Jesus Christ, that's one for the montage. Oh, that's it. I've had enough of you. Oh shit, oh shit. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's beating me up! Dude, what the hell? I don't wanna see this. I see the blood coming through the wall. Why are you doing this, man? I'm gonna kill you next. I'm getting beaten up by the Grim Reaper. Is he ever gonna stop? Okay, finally he stopped. Alright, I'm going to bed. He's gonna cry it out. He's like, Grim doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> He's like messed up. What did I do to deserve this? Ah. What the hell was that? What is going on here? Can I just leave? Can you leave jail? Oh, I can. Wait, what the hell? Holy crap. Alright, Jim, if you wanna do something right, you gotta do it yourself. All right, go inside. I <laughs> like how he's mopping up the body. Uh, they just disappeared at the mere sight of me. I literally laid eyes on him and it just killed him. That's right. This is what happens. And you deserve it, I might add. Have you had enough yet? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get out of the way, former lover. <laughs> there you go. You've deserved that for quite some time. Anyway, folks. Oh, a bit of lightning. You might want to get inside soon. <laughs> oh, I'm being arrested. <laughs> How did they find me? <laughs> Just murdering them all in one little bear dressed as a clown. Yeah, I suppose it was kind of obvious. I'd rather break out, though. No jail can hold Jim. My kid is drowning. It's second one anyway, so at least it wasn't the favorite. You see, that would be a good thumbnail right there, but I bet it wouldn't actually show up too good in the thumbnail. People wouldn't figure out what it is, you know? Wait, oh my god, someone's dead already! Jesus Christ! Meanwhile, these people are having a therapy session. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Pretty murderous, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, someone else is dead. He's got a gun! <laughs> Oh, he put it away. Wait, no, he killed someone. Okay, <laughs> Shrek, you didn't even do a good job of hiding a body. Okay, I have a feeling he did fucking kill someone. <laughs> Shrek is on a killing spree. <laughs> Just imagine the, uh, you know, the Halo announcer. <laughs> Shrek multi-kill. I like how this episode is all about a battle royale. Oh, Jesus Christ, someone's down. Oh my God, someone else just died. What was that? Jim's coming up to check it out. Oh no. Okay, that's another person down. Is Jim even slightly put off by this? No, he doesn't even flinch. He's uh, way too used to this stuff. Oh, Shrek strikes again. Who's down? Who is this? Uh, we don't really know her either. Oh, someone's been shot dead. The guy with the book. Oh, he was an unlikely victim. He seems so nice. Who even killed him? My game is starting to run smoothly again, finally. <laughs> oh my god, he's killed again. Who did he kill? They killed the other killer! Holy shit! He's definitely in the lead, look how proud he is! Oh, we have some close quarters action coming on here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Camper down! Camper down! Book! It's like, you wouldn't kill me if I was mid-book, would you? Wait, why do you have blood all over you? You've got a bullet hole in your head. Okay, she's murdered her. I guess the animation just couldn't kick in because they were sitting down. She killed her by staring at her alone. Talk about an OP character. Oh, oh. come on, Shrek. Shrek, please. Oh, oh my god, I thought he was just gonna tickle her or something. Okay, Shrek, you've done it. You've won the battle royale. Oh, we got our first victim. Another one bites the dust, or in this case, the puffer fish. Oh, dude, you sat on the cursed table. What did you expect? They immediately burst into tears. Uh, I want to see what this does. Um, where was it? Oh, yeah, mark for death. Death by lightning. Yeah, marker for death. Oh. 
that was the lightning. That's probably the one that killed the, the woman I marked. Oh, well. Oh, God, no. I just lit the wrong guy on fire. I don't know who I lit on fire. Okay, someone in the world is on fire. <laughs> I don't know who it is. There we go. And it looked like an accident because he's cooking. Excuse me, could you get out of the way? I want to resume cooking your mac and cheese. And you're burning it by standing that close while being on fire. Wait, what is this? Oh, the other guy burned to death. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope you weren't a vital piece of the story. All right, see you later. Stumbula, Lamina, Charib Seven. <laughs> he's getting so convincing. Look at him. I don't think the kid believes, though. I think he's kind of fed up. Kid's just trying to leave. Oh, no. <laughs> Jim is following. Like, I wonder, does he already have a child from her? Or what's the story? I'm confused. Oh, my God. <laughs> It literally goes off the screen. Okay, yeah, he has uh, four new daughters by the looks of it. Chandler Mark. Is that a girl's name? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's current year, folks. Come on. Wait, the rejects are still alive? I guess they're out there somewhere. Like, I just put them up for adoption. The only one who's carried on the line has been Tim. And his son died pretty fast, I think. Project Death by Sunlight. That was his own fault, to be fair. Oh, the Pickens line is not strong, but it is wide. <laughs> the hell is this? This is gonna snap me or something, isn't it? I don't like this. It looks like it has hands. Great, unleashing more spores. What the hell is that thing? Still not as scary as Scooby Doo. <laughs> look at its little arms. It's like Mr. Tickle. God, look at those tentacles just grabbing at that naked man. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the feck? Jim Pickens is being devoured by the mother plant? This will be the end of Jim Pickens. No, no. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. He's embarrassed. <laughs> he probably is embarrassed he actually perished. It's been a long time coming. Invite back to the supervillains. Are you kidding? I'd love to join supervillains. They just became best friends. <laughs> they get along on a spiritual level now. <laughs> Mother plant with... Okay, it's just the family, apparently. Why isn't Donkey helping? Is it only four? Uh, Donkey, at least stop distracting Shrek. He clearly is a thing for you. All right, you thought Jim Pickens was bad. Wait for dead Jim Pickens. Uh, guys, you can join in at any time. Time. Okay, thanks, Grim. <laughs> Appreciate it. Trek is still nervous. <laughs> he's froze up. Okay, he's got his nerves back. He was just thinking about Donkey. Wait, did we lose? No, oh, feck's sake, not again. <laughs> Don't eat ghost me, please. <laughs> oh, I should have been throwing vaccines at her. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go again. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Everyone's ready this time. At least we're all in the one spot, ready to fight. Go, come on, you've almost got the fecker. Wait, he's very angry all of a sudden. Oh, he's charging. Okay, he's almost dead. Come Come on, you have him. Go, Jim. Go, angry dead Jim. I think we've done it. We've defeated the second most evil thing in Strangerville. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Was it just gas this whole time? That's why you were angry? The Shrek is still just like, I've almost got it! <laughs> and he's playing Beckett Horn. <laughs> he's celebrating. <laughs> For feck's sake. <laughs> The guy collapsing from the trauma and Grim is celebrating, throwing up confetti. I've got the vaccine, but I don't really want to cure them. Wait, I can revive it. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> Not for now. Let's go home. What an unlikely hero. And what a stylish hero. Lovely scarf, Jim. Wait, what the hell? Oh, you're starving to death. Oh, well, at least you gotta kiss Jim Pickens on the way out. That's gotta be nice. What the hell is it? It looks like he's just got a napkin in there or something. Where is he going? He's taking the weirdest route. Why are you bringing it in here? He brought it all the way to this counter. <laughs> There's... Ooh. Jim Christ, it is time to rise again. <laughs> it is Easter Sunday. It is time for you to return. Just like the prophecy foretold. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. She's like, oh, food. <laughs> she's sniffing it. Oh, no, she's sniffing herself. Okay. Do you feel any different? He's looking right at the camera like, nope. <laughs> we have enough? Did it work? D did it work? Oh, oh. He's back! The dear leader is back! Oh my god, the swamp in the background looks terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, the swamp in the background looks terrifying. <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> that head jerk, she was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Almost broke her own neck from that. Alright, can I fight people now? Fight! Fight! Oh wait, the neighborhood brawl is over. Oh well. Fight! Fight! This will probably only make her love me more for some reason. <laughs> Santa's just having none of it. He's getting out of there. She's still feeling flirty. She has some weird kinks. There you go. You must love me now. Yet she's immediately flirting with me. Yeah, she's got serious issues. <laughs> to the swamp with you. Where is Shrek? <laughs> oh, they've built a little fish or something. 
Gurgadon! Oh, of course. <laughs> Did I expect anything else? <gasps> oh, he's beautiful! <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> God, he got over that fast, didn't he? He just put on his tail, took it immediately off, and then fell asleep. <laughs> he didn't get very excited about it. Oh, Dead Day starts tomorrow. Come on, we gotta kill you fast! <laughs> At some point, you'd think she'd just swim away. <laughs> like, she even knows there's something fucking going on here. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh, wait, she's still game to make out, though. It's like, how many times could you make out with a mermaid, I guess? Especially with one this thick. Wait, where is he now? He's running to summon the ocean threat, but where why is he running away naked? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, he's running back down now. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, uh, the- Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, they're drowning. <laughs> Sorry about that, you know, I'm new to this whole mermaid powers thing. <laughs> that cheery music as she dies, and Jim is just laughing. And he's even, like, witnessing dead. It's not like he's doing anything else. He's just laughing at the fact she's dying. Anyway, this really turns me on. Fancy a mermaid kiss? Come here, you. Uh, you're on fire. The door's only unlocked for first name. Get out of there. I left it locked for everyone else. Is just someone gonna put that out? Anyone? Are you just gonna watch him? And by the way, shh, you're gonna wake the bees. <laughs> Look at this, I'm getting club points. Awesome, let's see what we can get. Popular club, yeah, why not? <laughs> oh yeah, back to the fire. Well, there goes the customer. Thanks a lot, guys. You suck. Can you stop being lazy and actually do something? All of you are just lazying around, not advancing the game, and I don't like it. What did I just say? Never do that again. Oh, I think he might be dead. <laughs> that cheery little tune. Look, let that be a warning to you. You better start pulling your weight or I swear to God. Stay off her territory, okay? Well, I don't really need to be warning you now. It's kind of done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Brute stall's closed. She's pissed. She's like, oh, now I'm gonna get scurvy. <laughs> he just starts digging in the sand. Wait, she's calling the police. What the shit? Get her. <laughs> Oh my god, now there's another witness. Please don't call the cops. I really don't want to have to make this a triple murder. Look, I'm in a gang. I'm a Oh shit. Uh, I gotta go. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do anything to me. I'm a good guy, really. He's trying to comb the beach for trash. Can you not run away? What, what the hell is he doing? He's scaring me. Can we wash that blood off? <laughs> Damn it, it's not coming off. There's cops digging on our property. <laughs> this isn't good. I would do anything for a line of coke right now, he says. <laughs> then buy it from me. Come on, buy some cocaine from me. You know you want it. I don't think he has any money. Then why are you wasting my time? Can I please have a line of coke now, he says. You're such a beggar. Like, maybe we should just kiss and part ways, okay? <laughs> That's right. Don't ever come here begging for coke. Oh! <laughs> Alright, he shot first. Now I can do it. Oh my god! What the hell was that? Jesus Christ! And then he starts acting like a dolphin. <laughs> I think the gang might be in trouble. The right-hand man is freaking out. Oh my god, all this was caught on camera. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Just look at this little picture up there on Love Day. It's covered in blood. Oh yeah, also he's murdering someone. This is a very different Sims game. You know, this is nothing like The Sims 3. The Dear Leader Day is tomorrow. Better start it by having a good Dear Leader Eve. <laughs> That's right, I brought back up. <laughs> Oh my god, he just jumped on him. Jesus Christ, what just happened there? I think they just made up. He gave him a little handshake. He's got a stab wound in his chest. He's just walking off. Dude, Grim, you're my backup. Okay, I probably deserve this. Why are you tooting with a horn in the background? You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, he beat me up pretty good, and I probably deserved that. I killed a lot of people. When he called the cops, you're a gang leader, and you called the cops. That's not gonna fly, I'm afraid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, how did the cop die? I think the cop shot himself out of shock. Okay, yeah, I'm being arrested. I deserve this, but look, I won the war. <laughs> That's what's important. I, I think I've ended the war. I think um, he won't be causing me any trouble anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done. He's tapping. He's turning into a zombie already. What? Oh my god, they're eating him. Jesus Christ. I didn't expect this. I thought he'd gradually turn. Oh my god. Lock the feckin' door. I left her frozen out on the porch. Jim's gonna go out there and deal with this. They're probably specifically coming for Jim, but too feckin' bad. I'm used to killing the living. I don't mind killing the dead. I like how it says chat with her and it has the little gun symbol. Oh, I love having a chat with my friends. Jeez, they blew her head clean off. I like how he's showing as much skin as possible when he's out here fighting zombies. You're just gonna stare at her? You're gonna do something. Oh no, you're gonna run away. Okay, goodbye. 
Okay. <laughs> the little success noise after killing all of them. All right, uh, Santa. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Like, I can't bring myself to put you down. It'll be like putting down old Yeller. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, God, he's getting eaten. Okay. <laughs> Just keep eating him. That, that's fine. All right, let's bring the cult up here. I like how he put on the robe, though. That's dedication to the cult. Even when he's dead, he knows who the real boss is. Oh, God, there goes another one. Music that played. It always plays at the wrong time. <laughs> He's uh, looking at it under a microscope. He's desperately trying to figure this thing out. He probably thinks this is a gun. <laughs> Some kind of doomsday device. All right, I have this idea. I have this thing called zombie cure, and I'm going to try it. Okay, it worked. <laughs> wow, it's instant. All right, we got to make sure this isn't temporary, so I'm going to leave you in here and wish you the best. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> I didn't even get out of the room before he got bitten again. Oh, Oh my god, what has he done? He chopped her up. Look at those hands. <laughs> Grab a serving. What do you feel like? Eyes? Oh, a hand. Okay, nice. Use the virus on her, yeah. Now I don't even have to pay you. The others didn't even show up. Maybe I should hire someone else. My employees aren't showing up. And they're just eating the free food outside instead. I'm pissed. God, Jim is a sound sleeper. <laughs> He's sleeping through the zombie apocalypse. What the hell? Why are you zooming in on this? God, he looked like he was here to survive, too. He had the military jacket on and everything. Well, have fun out there on the beach, folks. I respect your privacy. Wait, is my chef fine? No, my chef is also dead. <laughs> what happened when I was gone? All right, I'm going to cure my staff just so hopefully we can uh, get back to normal here. I, I need to open my restaurant. I need to keep those dollars flowing in. Oh, God damn it. Come on. I just used a serum on you. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? <laughs> Did he just like push her over? Oh, Jim is the best. No, don't scream at them, seat them. You know, I'm starting to think the zombie apocalypse might be more serious than we first imagined. I think it might take a serious toll on the economy. Like, no one's buying things, they just want free food all the time. They want to eat people, not my people, <laughs> which you have to pay for. Yeah, I respect that. Could you please leave her alone? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, he's holding the cleavers in <laughs> that weird dolphin thing. Oh, and he was going to give me a good review to Fexy. Grim <laughs> shows up and he's just packing up this guy <laughs> into sack lunches. And then, oh, for Fexy, sake, close the restaurant for the day. <laughs> Everyone go home. What, what the hell? The Grim Reaper is eating him. What the shit? <laughs> what is this? I don't think that's supposed to happen, though. Okay, try it open it again. I need fresh customers. Come on. What are you dancing for? <laughs> He's happy with how the business is going. He's going into shop here. That uh, kid, you don't want to be here. Trust me. <laughs> oh, no. Stop it. Wait, what the shit? I thought I told you you weren't allowed to die. <laughs> that was in your contract. How many times do I have to cure this guy? <laughs> don't bite her. Oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> Oh, for feck's sake, down goes another one. Everyone's just dropping like flies. It spread so quick around the lot. Look at that. Right, I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't a good idea, even though Jim is happy, and I guess that's all that matters. Maybe we should end the business here before we even sink further into debt. You think it's one star? What gives you that impression, huh? And he's back to dancing. That's all he cares about. The Santa Clauses have kind of overstayed their welcome, and we need at least one of them to go. And to do this, I propose a challenge to the death. <laughs> Jim will be the referee, and he just gets to be the guy in the movie. He goes, there's only one rule, no rules. And then they fight. Oh my God, this is intense. All right, let the fight begin. Oh, some good slaps. Oh, Jesus Christ. He really didn't hesitate in the end, did he? I thought the zombie apocalypse was over, for feck's sake. Why is no one extinguishing her? Like, even uh, Jim extinguished his dad. You think they'd extinguish her? Oh, well. I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful... No, okay. I should have saw that coming, I guess. God, that really brings me back. <laughs> Why are you crying? You're crying for me. I appreciate that. I got hit by a car in the last episode. That's it. You're not capable of being king, dad. I would not have let this happen. Goodbye, Dad. It's been great knowing you. You have a great gravestone. 
the hell? What is that? Wait, who died? <laughs> oh, he's dying as we speak. <laughs> the only person that tasted it. Go, go, go. Get the keg ready. Oh my god, two more people are down. <laughs> this is the- Oh my god, my roommate's dying. Where did you get that puffer fish? <laughs> I told you not to eat it. Oh, my roommate's gonna die. <laughs> Tunnel snake down. Tunnel snake down. Yay, he got brought back. How many times can she do this and get away with it? Oh my god, lightning even went off at the same time. Surely that's a sign. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> the Murphy bed takes its first victim. He's dying of old age. He probably just chose to give up, and I don't blame him. Jim, come out here. Put a good word in for him. I don't want him to escape yet. <laughs> Okay, the god is getting angrier and the Grim Reaper isn't coming. The body isn't being taken away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, speak of the devil. It's a race to the finish. Both burning, but from different methods. Shrek, don't try and go in. It's fine. She's screaming out of happiness in there, believe me. <laughs> There's no windows looking in. Wait, <laughs> Jim is clapping. Everyone else is panicking. <laughs> She's dying in a fire. Well, she started it. She walked into my private little pot here. Oh, the Grim Reaper actually showed up this time. Oh, I forgot. God, he's thick now. First name Pickens is dying from starvation. Oh god, they're all dropping. First name, you just became an adult. All right, so we'll chant boy's name, which would just be standing there going, first name, first name, first name. It looks like he's giving out to him. Did I give you permission to die? I don't think so. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god, he actually came up with sunglasses on. Oh, he's like the Terminator. Boy, he looks cool. Oh, why are you kicking my child? What the hell was that? Never looks so cool. Wait, what? Is that second for second name? Oh, oh god, all right. That's concerning. <laughs> okay, this is starting to get ridiculous. You're the worst kid ever. Oh my god, what are you doing to them now? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, he's dying. <laughs> that is terrifying. Oh my god, now he's killing someone else. Everyone is going to be dead in about five minutes. Wait, this stranger just came up and is kicking my kid. And now the other one is killing her for it. Oh my god, he made her into an instant ghost. Took the soul out of this woman. And Mole, Mole is now also dead. Okay, this is going too fast. Oh my god, now a stranger is dying. Everything's going to hell. <laughs> He's far more control than you do. In fact, Grim, banish him for doing that. There you go. You see, Grim Reaper is really in control. <laughs> I don't think you understand the power in this family. Like, the Grim Reaper... Jim Pickens, Shrek. <laughs> uh, sorry you had to die before all that went down. I wish I had a total kill count, honestly. Okay, he's killing another dog walker. Uh, like, at this point, I don't really have any sympathy. Okay, you didn't do anything to be- Or you- uh, Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Nanny, you got here just in time. Thank God. Maybe you can control this situation. <laughs> he's giving out to him one last time. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> and the happy little drone behind him recording him burning. <laughs> I hope you have life insurance and that covers that chair. <laughs> oh, very considerate that you got up out of the the chair. God, this is gonna make some good content, right, Drone? <laughs> He's doing like shifty eyes. <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't think this is what I was made for. Oh my God, it's recording the whole thing, even the Grim Reaper. Bet in the garden. All right, fine. I gotta get their attention somehow. Ignore Jim making magic gestures. <laughs> that was just an act of God. Oh, God damn it. All right, again. There you go. You should have stayed in the same spot because like lightning never strikes twice, and it was totally lightning. How does he keep getting out of this? He's across the street, <laughs> just shooting fire at him, but he keeps moving. Yes, okay, finally. Someone's on fire. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Good thing you came outside. I guess that's what happens when no one extinguishes the fire. I'm used to someone actually doing it. Jim, you're standing uncomfortably close to that fire. Could we get you out of there? Could you go home? Harry Potter, he is like... Five minutes ago, my life was fine. One final spell before I go to make sure you're well protected. <laughs> yeah, he knows he's done well. That was a protection spell that he put over the entire house like they did for Harry Potter. Or wait, no, I just set her on fire. My bad. I always get those two confused. Anyway, I better go. He's just laughing on the lawn. Oh, great, he's here. Feck off. We got more important things to worry about. Oh my God, it's killing people. It's killing people. Okay, that is disrespectful. Why are you riding over him on your bike? You're the real monster here. How did my son turn out so bad. Where did I go wrong? Can you die in peace, please, if you have to die? I'm trying to make this household a safe place and you're not making it easy on me. All right, she's dead. I'm willing to take partial responsibility for that. This is all trial and error, this whole thing. She's already dining with someone else. Oh my god, it's Pufferfish. No, 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 get another table. <laughs> I forgot whose restaurant we were at. Oh, feckin' hell, someone's dead. <laughs> oh, someone else is dying. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to repopulate this place faster than people die. Oh, he can't believe his eyes. I mean, if he has eyes, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, feck off. The possessed child is here. Oh, for feck's sake. Well, one of my guests is already dead. Guys, get back inside. And more importantly, Turk, get your clothes on. He just saw women and he was ready. All he knows is... Oh, 
effect. I was gonna say all he knows is impregnating people, but um, there goes another guest. All right, you know what? We can't just let Turing's partners die like this. Let's just load the game. That was all a weird fever dream. It sure felt like it. The sad part is, I think I invited him to the party. <laughs> that is the sad part. I don't know how it happened. But Turk died. <laughs> Apparently. When did he die? How did he die? Okay, I knew there was a spark between those two. <laughs> Jim is just fucking laughing. Cool. Oh, there's a fire started. Why do bad things follow us? Like, that wasn't me. Turk is just panicking. He doesn't understand fire yet. <laughs> Jim Pickens is like, and that child is the way the world works. That's gonna happen to you one day. When you grow up, I'm probably gonna kill you too. And Jim Pickens literally just does not care <laughs> about this whole situation. What are you doing? Stop getting angry at me. Jim doesn't deserve this. Hey, Bonnie no, Marshall. Me, me. <laughs> Turk just fell asleep. He fainted at the mere sight of Jim doing something bad. Stop! You violated the law! You next! That kid is feckin' scared for life and now you will be too. Oh, welcome home, Turk. I've been selling my goodies at this table. He's a good kid, really. Oh, he didn't have a lottery ticket anyway. That, that's the one I don't care about. You didn't even return the favor. You just kind of look annoyed with him that he's on fire. Oh, boys will be boys. <laughs> The happy little tuna place just as someone dies. He doesn't even care. He walks on by. Uh, sorry, kid. I, I gotta go. If anyone asks where that statue is, you uh, you saw nothing. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> this is inappropriate. Please stop. Look, it's just a culture thing. In my culture, that's a compliment to freeze your kid. I'll, uh, I'll leave. I froze her because she saw me stealing the statue. <laughs> and then I ended up getting seen freezing a kid instead, which is a lot worse. I think, anyway. <laughs> You're going in the cauldron. <laughs> Crack him open again. Just to freeze him. He's stuck in this cycle now. He just keeps refreezing him. You shouldn't even refreeze food. Not a mind people. Oh yeah, my yard sale's still going. That that's over, by the way. You can all leave now. Except for obviously you, the frozen dude. You're stuck here. Shashubi. Yeah, Shashubi is right. Go on, get out. Alright, that wasn't a suggestion, you know. That was actually a demand. Leave my house. Oh god, my spell backfired. I thought it said he was a master in spells. Let's try this again and don't kill yourself, Jim. I'm warning you. There we go. And now it works. You're putting it out. Oh my god, you're lame. All right, your heroes are gone now. <laughs> There's no one to protect you. There you go. Now go feck yourself. <laughs> All right, he somehow lived, so I'll just freeze him and keep him as like a lawn ornament for now. <laughs> Turk is just looking at him like, that is some fine craftsmanship. Food. Thank you, food. We left and she didn't drop the food. <laughs> well, Kylo, you did the worst thing of all. You wasted Jim Pickens' time. Jim Pickens has murdered Kylo Ren. The dark side was Jim all along. <laughs> he starts telling him a story or something. <laughs> that was the secret to taking down the First Order all this time. Forget about the lightsabers and the blasters. Molotov cocktails. <laughs> right, before we head out of this godforsaken planet, let's head to the Resistance. <laughs> I have unfinished business there too. God, the music's getting so menacing. <laughs> it knows what I'm up to. <laughs> Alright, that's that situation dealt with. I'm just gonna leave you burn here. Hopefully it'll catch fire to your entire base. Um, peace out. The one issue is I've created a power vacuum. I've destroyed both the resistance and the first order. Now the smugglers are still there and I know they'll take over, so I gotta deal with them too. There we go. <laughs> Wait, why is fire not affecting him? He looks bored. I just set you on fire. It even came up that I murdered him. 
Oh, there we go. It was one of those uh, fires that take a while to spark up. I needed to blow on him a little bit. <laughs> Just a gentle ember on his shirt and I'm there like... <laughs> Come on, little fella. <laughs> oh my god, he has a baby. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hey, Harry, how's this for magic? Won't be the boy who lived for long, will you? <laughs> that poor kid has to watch his father burn. <laughs> He's just clapping for it outside. What a useless human being. Not even attempting to put out the fire. <laughs> he went to sleep. <laughs> I'm bored now. Due to neglect, Mabel is being whisked away to safety. You want to whisk anyone else away to safety while you're at it? Finally. Proof that Jim Pickens is way more evil than Voldemort and way more competent. Tell him to go away. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> go on, get out of here, kid. All right, folks. How about we go start some fires? <laughs> the firefighter's like, God damn it. I knew this free vacation was too good to be true. Where is the firefighter? <laughs> oh, he's out in the backyard. He seems like he's not having a good time if he's separating himself from the group. Here, make him feel at home, Jim. You just see him casting spells in the background. There we go. Now you've something to do. <laughs> he's lucky he didn't catch fire himself. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I smoked too soon. <laughs> Luckily, Default is here to fight the fire. <laughs> Why did I even bring a firefighter? He's useless. And Jim is just running away. <laughs> Default swapped into her jogging gear to jog away. <laughs> and Turk is now running also. They put out the fire to save the barbecue, but they don't save the firefighter. Jim is going to bed. <laughs> Guys, he's dying. Does anyone care? Where are you all going? You're watching TV. <laughs> Where's Turk? They're playing chess. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, if you save the firefighter, you'd have someone to play chess with. Sorry, dude. I know this has been just a horrible holiday. Like, I'd rate it probably three out of ten if i'm being honest with you it was that bad why didn't you get two or one well i've had worse holidays <laughs> to be honest i've been on holidays to the Aran islands nothing to do there people talking asquelega irish that's not a fate worse than death some might say oh who wants burgers <laughs> guys please get out of the way i'm trying to get burger <laughs> please i just want burger <laughs> turk is demanding greg be spared <laughs> i don't know if you have that authority <laughs> turk yeah that didn't work <laughs> guys could you please hurry this up me want burger Oh, finally, he's dead. I love Jim just comes out naked from the back. Oh, don't do it to yourself. Oh, you brave man. Default's done. <laughs> hey, Death. You might have to come back to me in a second. It's freezing out here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I hate flies too, Death. Anyway, I really gotta get on with this holiday of mine. I don't even know what I can do here. Oh, there's cable cars! I wonder, can you cut the wire? And just like that, my game crashes for no reason. <laughs> I say one thing about cutting the wire to a cable car and the game's like, no, you've had enough. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, well, look, on the bright side, we get to go back in time slightly, and the fireman is still alive. You can't fight fate, Greg. You can't fight Jim. Honestly, he went straight to the barbecue. Like, I can't control him, and he just walked straight to the barbecue. The only difference in this timeline is no one has noticed that he is dying. The only issue with this one, where no one has seen him die, is that the whole house is on fire, and no one has noticed. Mimsy Very nice, everyone. <laughs> you can just see them singing in the background. I don't know why they told us to bring our coats. Honestly, it's not that cold up here. The house is actually boiling. Love's a gun, you praise. Gun, seven, eight, I'm getting flashbacks to Tamadachi life here. The band is back together. <laughs> Uh, guys, toilet's on fire. <laughs> hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're playing The Sims 4. It's been a while, but I've got an idea, because I keep seeing these speed runs all over the internet, and while I'm not very good at games, I was thinking to myself, what am I good at? Killing. I thought that I would speed run killing my entire neighborhood in The Sims 4. Scared. Who's scared? Okay, I'm not intimidating enough, apparently. <laughs> so this delightful fellow making snow angels is Jim Pickens, who we're going to be using to kill the entire neighborhood. I'm going to go house to house and try and kill them in a variety of different ways. 
these. I don't want to just use the same way. That's boring. So Santa, if you don't mind, you'll stay here. You'll be the, the man of the house right now, locked in this little cubby hole. Okay, time starting now. <laughs> Turg, go away. You don't want to be here. Light the oven on fire. That way you can't make more food. Yes, there you go. Now you have to use the barbecue. There we go. Now they're going outside. All right, now lock the door for everyone but Jim. In fact, just lock door for everyone. You stay safe in there, Jim. It's the only way in or out of the house. You relax. Change current weather. Thunderstorm. Also, I just as a, like, designer, you know, I, I love architecture and whatnot. I don't really like this awning. I'd like to get rid of it. Thank you. Too much sun protection. Oh my god, they have sun resistance. Oh my god, come on. Lightning is great and all if it hits, but the chances of it hitting them all are... Uh, I guess it'll take much longer than just making it cold. So let me make a blizzard, not just snowy, a blizzard. They're trying to share body warmth by hugging. I'm changing them all into swimwear. They want to show off their beach bods. Yes, he's played it too cool. He's freezing to death. Fantastic news. The sign of things to come, folks. Yes, we got another one freezing to death. I'm a bit worried about the vampire. Are they like resistant to freezing to death? Yes, that's one down. Work starts in about an hour. I, I think she might be late. I keep making her eat these bad beans because not only only they're spoiled, but vampires don't like human food. Turg, go home. You don't want to be here. Oh, the blizzard has ended. I guess I'll just start another one. Oh, wait, the power's been shut off. Oh, god damn it. Okay, she is very ill. I think from forcing her to eat all that food, it, it is very much upset her. Okay, this backfired. Jim Pickens has died of old age waiting for them. Oh, for feck's sake. I know, I know you're upset. I know you don't want to. He's trying to kill all of you, but please plead for him. Wow, you literally saved my life. <laughs> Words can't begin to describe how grateful I am. Well, now I mean, I guess I am killing the entire neighborhood because I'm also killing myself. I just came back. Oh, gentle. She's so ill. She's on the verge of death herself. Grim, can you just take her while you're here? All right, I turned aging off. <laughs> As a thank you, I'm lighting on fire. There you go. Thank you very much for saving me, by the way. Bye-bye. Let's also get you one of these potions of youth, shall we? <laughs> you might need it. Oh, oh are, are you the people living here? Please live here. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Oh, tiny house. I love it. Uh, was she just digging a hole and dug me up? I'm confused what just happened there. That was a confusing animation. Oh, yeah. Funny gift. You like it? <laughs> yeah, she did. Okay. Whew. I didn't think a bomb would win you over, but it did. Yes, let me move in. All right, now that I'm in your family, let's travel somewhere. I know a lovely little restaurant. <laughs> He's like, hey, funnily enough, I used to own the place. Let me order for you. We'll take the puffer fish. I'll just have a water, please. <laughs> I'm on a diet. He's doing the coloring book. <laughs> Enjoy the view, everyone, while we wait for our meal. Why is everyone getting naked? For a bit of context, why this place looks so bad, by the way. <laughs> All the graves. It's because Jim nuked this neighborhood, so the whole neighborhood is destroyed. I wonder if they sanitize the chairs after I leave. I'm just sitting here naked. I'm beginning to think they're just going to starve to death. Like... The food just isn't coming. I'm trying to speed run here. I know it doesn't look like it because nothing about this run has been quick. I moved the whole kitchen in case that was the issue. We're still waiting on our order here. We're going to starve. Everyone in this building is panicking <laughs> and no one is being fed. Okay, okay, it worked. It worked. Fantastic. Yes, eat up, eat up. I'm sure it's excellent. What's the nuts? What do you mean you didn't die? Okay, we'll, we'll take the same again, please. How are you surviving? I don't understand. Another thing I don't understand understand is, Jim, why are you naked? What, why? This is a restaurant. There are kids here. You, you know that. You're doing the, the placemat coloring. But why are you like this? All right. I think I realized what was wrong. Good management. I bought the restaurant and changed the quality to poor. <laughs> Perfect. All right. With my signature bad management, this death should be easy. They're like, we've already had two plates of puffer fish. We don't want any more. Ah, oh, but this is my specialty puffer fish. Oh my god, you finally died. I don't know what the hell you did when you did die. Jesus Christ, I think all your organs just got mushed up with that move, whatever the hell that was. Jesus, this is not efficient at all. <laughs> this is taking ages. Turns out, puffer fish, amazing for taking out a huge amount of sims, as you can see here, <laughs> but not great for assassination. Oh wait, hold on. They're both going in one. Okay, fantastic. At least we have that. Another household is down. That's my souvenir right there. I'm going now. I got one more family to visit. All right, folks, I really need to move in with you. How was your day? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I need to know how their day was. I need to move in. You're flirting with me. You're flirting with me. Let me move in. Taking pictures of me and everything. You're so weird. Yes, move in, move in. 
They're like, well, may as well. We've no neighbors, so the neighborhood's getting kind of lonely all of a sudden. I probably should have done a bit more research on this one, but I, I think this kills them. I don't know if I've ever done it. Jim successfully swiped an object. Good job, Jim. Oh my god, that was really fast. Are they already dying? Oh my god, they are. That was so quick. You know what? Arches are so out of style. I'd rather have a door that you can lock. Yes, go closer, child. Warm. Warm after the snow. Closer. <laughs> closer, my dear. No, don't put it out. God damn it. Now I just destroyed a rug. <laughs> this plan isn't going well at all. Jim, light the rug on fire. Oh my God. Why are you so ready to deal with fire? I know you've had a bit of practice today, but come on. The child is falling asleep. This is my chance. What? What? I said everyone. Ah, warming up the child. <laughs> After being out in the snow. I can't even see the child anymore. Okay, there they are. Oh, happy music. I love when I light a child on fire and the happy music starts to play. It encourages me to do it again. Okay, this clearly doesn't work when there's two responsible adults in the room. You, stop helping. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm a good new roommate, aren't I? There we go. No, don't get... Oh, for feck's sake, the fire broke him out of the ice. It melted it. He's like, really? How many times do I have to be lit on fire? Like, I know he's being put out immediately, but at this point, you'd think this much fire would kill a man. He just keeps getting through it somehow. Quickly, one of them is asleep. Light the other on fire. Fast. There you go. Okay, don't wake up. Don't wake up. Oh my god. Why do you have to be such a hero? What if I try and light them all on fire at one go? Would that work? It's always him that catches fire. He's fine, apparently. Come on. Come on. Multi-kill. Multi-kill. Oh, yes. He's fallen asleep. This might actually work. Yes. One's dead. Jesus, it only took me 22 minutes. The child is just standing in the fire. Sorry, firefighters. You can't come in. The door is locked. Okay, for some reason, this family is fireproof, and I don't understand why. He picked up the child and just put her back down. There you go. The child can't save you. You're screwed now, buddy boy. Why are you playing cheery music? Is the game just happy for me that I'm accomplishing my goal? Are you immune to fire? What is going on? I thought magic would be the easy way to kill everyone, but no. He's just standing there, sleeping in it, taunting me. Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Oh, look. It's prank day. Great. I'm about to do some fantastic pranks of killing people. If this guy will ever die, I want to move on to the next house. Okay, now. Now even the snow is on fire. How can the snow be on fire, but you're not? Due to neglect, Mabel has been whisked away. <laughs> Literally casting a fire spell in front of the firefighter. Come on, burn, baby, burn, please. Yes, thank you. Are you serious? Okay, finally. Good lord, you took ages. I really thought this would be the easiest way. <laughs> They extinguished him through the wall. They fucking extinguished him through the wall. Oh, thank God. It's two people dead in half an hour. Sweet Jesus. Thank you for your cooperation, everyone. All right, collect their gravestones and let's get out of here. We got to go over to the next house. I got to find faster ways. That was awful. I thought that would be a, a sure thing. I thought that was the easiest route. Just... Uh, cast some magic, light them on fire. But no, that was terrible. That was amazing. The other guy's just like, oh no. <laughs> I know what's happening now. <laughs> I know where all the neighbors have gone. The Grim Reaper's talking to them like, don't worry, I'm going to be back for you real soon. Don't worry about that. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're starting to get a bit worried now. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, the Grim Reaper's coming back sooner than I would have imagined. That's everyone dead. Stop. I got about one hour, 40 minutes on my clock. Not the official clock, but I wonder what it actually was. Oh my God, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> And he just goes in relaxing after all that, really? <laughs> You're just gonna go in there with the Grim Reaper and relax? The Grim Reaper is now chilling out. Hey, Turg, I'm home. Ignore the towel. <laughs> He's like, what have you been up to? Not much. Okay. <laughs> the game believes me. Memories on the corner of my mind. Oh, isn't that lovely? See, it was all worth it for the lawn decor. <laughs> Derek is shocked. <laughs> All right, so the new expansion has interior decorator. Yes, please. I mean, he has the skills. Have you seen this place? The hand on the mantle? <laughs> what the hell was that screaming about? The cursed symbols on the floor? And the trapped Santa Claus that really just ties the whole house together. All right, how do we get our first job? Calling fake sick to work, aren't you? Like, <laughs> a freelancer? The only one that'll accept someone without any experience is this one, so I guess I'll do that. And it starts in the morning, so let's get some rest. 
ghost. Um, well, try to anyway, given that the place is feckin' haunted. These two ghosts in the kitchen are just like boogieing down or something. Oh yeah, I have to buy a toilet. <laughs> I'm not a very good interior decorator if I don't even have a toilet in my own home. <laughs> like sure, the place looks nice, but <laughs> there's pee everywhere. And I don't even want to bring up the poop bucket. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't bring it up, but just one mention. The poop bucket is gone and I'm going to install a toilet in the kitchen. There we go now, that is convenience. See, these are the kind of skills I'm going to bring to my new job. Oh god, there's loads of clothing piles here. Is that also decor or did we just leave the clothes here? Just just pick it up. Yeah, put that in your inventory. It's fine. The ghost of Harry Potter just texted me. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Yeah, I think so too. With design like this, how could I go wrong? Now spec. <laughs> the sparkles and everything. <laughs> Doesn't really live up to what I actually did. What do you think, folks? First impressions? She smacked herself in the face with the door and left. Before. After. Oh, I love the upbeat music. Before. After. Ooh. Ah. Before. After. Uh, praise the designer, you will die. All right, an apartment. Well, I'm not going to abide by any rules this apartment block has set out, just so you know. Why can I hear screaming in that bag? What the hell did you just put in there? Oh, no. This is something to do with me, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> How are there so many babies? I'm wondering, are they being too polite because there's only one serving? So I'm making a whole batch, but this is very dangerous. I may as well have loaded guns on the countertop. He's still not going for it. Okay, I'm gonna call everyone to the meal. No, 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 don't eat it yourself, you feckin' eat it. You know what trouble is involved with that stuff. You've you've seen stories of Jim Pickens' restaurants, right? Why are we still here? Yeah, how about you fight that fire, huh? Okay, it insta-killed him. Well, I found my new secret weapon of mass destruction. Santa Claus is cooking. Take that, firefighters. I'll burn every last farm down. <laughs> I'm calling to meal again just to see what the Grim Reaper eat it. <laughs> just to see what happens. Well, he is eating it. I I'm guessing he's immune, but I just kind of had to check. Ah, the first urn of the farm. I've really earned it. Honestly, I think a farm graveyard is kind of cute. <sighs> Yeah, that's right. It was a once-off, I'm afraid. You're, you're back in the pen. What are you doing? You are a feckin' idiot, Jim. Honestly, why are you eating Santa's- Oh my god. You know sushi kills. You've killed so many people with this. Ah. <sighs> He's an idiot. Ah, uh, what can you say? Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, I suppose. The fox is in here somehow. I don't know how the fox got inside the house. He smells something good. That's the puffer fish. You can take some if you want. Hold on, plead. Come on, dude. I have Stockholm Syndrome real bad. Plus, he doesn't even look dead. Look, he's checking the pipes under the counter. Oh, for feck's sake. Well, this just became a rescue mission. Oh, look at a fancy urn. Where have you been getting these fertilizers from, Santa? <laughs> Are these self-made or... Or, or what? All right, I know Jim had a load of death flowers on him or whatever, but this is an issue because I think it was in his inventory, unless it transfers to here. <gasps> yes! Okay, great. Oh, all the urns got put into the family inventory as well. <gasps> there it is, the Book of Life. Okay, fantastic. He had that in his inventory. I only had one copy. I need to make more of these. The secret to uh, everlasting life, and he only wrote one. It was like, I'll get around to the rest later. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's holding four copies of Reel Her In. <laughs> A romantic fisherman novel. Wait, I can create a copy of that for 20 bucks? Does the copy work? <laughs> I guess you could just photocopy it, right? But what's the point writing another one? Okay, so like all things in life, I half-assed the book. Apparently you have to do it before they die. You gotta capture their essence, whatever. But I have all the ingredients and I definitely didn't cheat to make Turg an excellent cook so he can actually cook ambrosia. You cheated, I didn't. What? You... you you I... Mm, you're bad. <laughs> Alright, Turg, I know you're not feeling great. Why the hell is the Grim Reaper serving up drinks in my living room? Alright, you know what? Ignoring that, I gotta go to the shop and pick up one last ingredient for this amazing ambrosia. Unfortunately, I think I have amnosia because I'm not sure exactly where I can find it. I think it's here. Oh, look, there's the pit where I made the two... Ooh, there's another Jim Pickens there? Maybe I have to sacrifice that one to bring back the new one. But yeah, that's the fighting pit where I made the two Santas fight each other and then the winner got to eat the other. Uh, hey, I need your life essence. Sul so, Sul. So. Yes, Sul so, Sul so to you too. Follow me. Buy bait. Angel fish. Oh my god, that's so cheap too. G give me loads of them. I need loads. This is so weird. Look at him. He's just going about his day. He's an exact clone. Alright, can I cook it now? I should be able to. There we go. That's what we need. Just a little fry up to bring him back from the dead, you know. Alright, there's the meal. Now I just need Jim to come out and eat it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, eat it. 
eat the ambrosia. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Okay, there he goes. Goodbye. <laughs> He's going like, hello, I am also Jim. Good to meet you. Is this ambrosia just not after working or what? Oh, the Grim Reaper's here. Ah, oh, he's still eating the ambrosia. Okay. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's Jim Pickens and Ghost Jim Pickens just having a chat while the Grim Reaper and Turg talk away between themselves about baseball. <laughs> Why are there so many sad sounds from all the chickens leaving? And I don't think any sad sound played when Jim died. Ah, here we go, he's coming back. I've sensed a disturbance in the universe. There we go, he's back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, shove the Grim Reaper, that'll show him. He's getting sad. <laughs> all right, back to what I was doing. I don't know whether to sacrifice the other Jim or not. Like, I do need the potion of youth, which I think you can get from absorbing their life essence by feeding them to this plant. I'm pretty sure you can but then again i could do that with anyone i'll have a think about it i'll see how the clone acts while he's here but i need something to differentiate him like he's he's close enough to a clone he's he's very close i don't really understand how but some of my stuff are burned to a crisp as well and i don't know what happened <laughs> oh well oh that's a cheery sound what was that for grace is dying from starvation Okay. What the hell have you been eating? Oh, I think you've blocked your path in to eat more. I hope you haven't been cooking the chickens because you've no way of getting supplies. Call to meal. Okay, that's the best part about serving a meal. They're just like, wait a second. Why is he calling us to have a meal at Aura House? They're like, mmm, yummy eggs. Yes, even the children are eating it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, the kid looks a bit pissed off. Oh, you haven't finished it. That explains that. Oh, I hear some effects. Oh, that's Jim. <laughs> the kid is getting pissed off, but not quite ready eyes yet. Oh, the mother's going. At least I think it's her eyebrows that are angry, not her eyes. It worked on the kid. <laughs> Wait, you can evil glare like on the person itself? Tell the spot, Wait, why would you sit down next to her after doing the evil glare? It was just a spark though. I don't think she even noticed. Okay, there you go. A bit more. No, why is that not working? Look at him. He's stomping around again. Everyone's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> They're all coming by now just to evil glare at her. All right, gang, if we can time this right, we can set something on fire <laughs> each. Right, no, don't make chicken noises. So what are you doing? There's fire in the house. You're fine. Oh, sorry, Jim. I made more, but you'll have to eat it off the uh, rocking table, I think. Okay, gang, split up and light some fires. I was saying, could you light the poop on fire? But that would be a bit cruel. <laughs> it won't allow me, by the way. Otherwise, I would have done it, just to be clear. There we go. Nice and burny. <laughs> That's going to make a really angry. The kid is always angry, just pissed off. What do you hate about fire? <laughs> Sorry about that fire. <laughs> She's still trying to just play games. <laughs> you may have an addiction to video games. Uh huh. Oh, she agrees. Sorry about this. I know it's kind of rude to light your host on fire, but it is what it is. Wait, there's more fire? There... Oh, there's more fire. <laughs> Santa's just putting it out. I don't even remember telling you to start that one, but uh, just walk away, Santa. It's just a kid. You're not obligated to save them. You're obligated to bring them presents, and that's it. Oh, he got away. That's such a shame. <laughs> the other gym is just like, get out of my way, kid. <laughs> He's loving it. He's like, well, your farm's completely destroyed. The other gym, not so much. At least now we know who the evil one is. Like, 100% sure. Uh, Santa, I'd stand back. That kid is gonna be on fire in a second. Yeah, there you go. That is just a fantastic still as well. Hot uh, dog, Jim. You can stop that. And Santa, don't even think about putting it out. She was trying to put out the fire, so I'm taking her out too. <laughs> it's for the greater good. Oh, they didn't die. Wait, there's a kill option? Be slain by a vicious killer rabbit. Oh, I'd like to see that. I think we all would. Wait, hold on. What? Wait, hold on. What? Oh, this isn't good. No, no. <laughs> He's fighting him instead of her. This is terrible. Oh, feck's sake, the Grim Reaper's showing up. My clone, I needed him for various experiments. Come on, dude, we go way back. Yeah, you're a good man. You are my hero. I promise I won't forget that I owe my life to your heroic actions. Clone Jim is even more in my debt. And I'm out there bawling their eyes out for the guy who was setting their farm on fire. It's home time now. Whew. Okay, bye, Grim. It's nice seeing you. That was good to catch up. Bye-bye. Sorry about Santa. He stares. All right, I know, Jim, you've just been through a lot, but I have to try something else on you. I'm sorry. Yes, you must be slain by an evil rabbit once more. You see, this is why I got you, Jim, to experiment on. And I need to check, does the rooster protect you? Uh, I don't think he's coming. Hey, dude, I, I don't plan on killing him again. Can you bring him back? He's just lying face down in the pond. Oh, he's not giving me a second chance. You suck, dude. Get him. Come on, he's He's right there. You're useless, you know that? What, just because you're starving and unhappy, you're not willing to help me? He was supposed to fend off the Grim Reaper. 
now look what happened. As we all know, death isn't vital in this world. Uh, just don't tell that to the cow plants. Hey there, friends. How's it going? Today, we are playing The Sims, where we will be doing our very own squid games. There will be no story spoilers. So this is our guy in control here, Jim Pickens. He's got a very fancy outfit. And I've randomly created these other Sims, and I've got Santa Claus involved too. Unfortunately for him, he's being dragged into it. He just doesn't realize yet. I'm going to give them 24 hours of free will in between each challenge to rest Stop. Whoa, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, one of them is doing push-ups. Okay, that's a sign. Someone has a brain. One is ready. <laughs> Who's the least energy? It's number four or Santa. Oh, the others are really energized. Number five and two are ready to go. Oh, he was trying to work out. This guy, <laughs> too, li too late, I'm afraid. Okay, everyone's in their positions. Let's get going. It's not good that Santa's already, like, asleep standing up. <laughs> this guy's <is> delighted. <laughs> okay, everyone, get running. Come on, hop on that treadmill. I like how they change into the same clothes. <laughs> the different facial expressions. Some are very confident, and then you get ones like this. <laughs> Not happy to be here. And again, Santa still has his eyes closed, even on the treadmill. All right, folks, let's get going and see who's going to get knocked out here. This guy is feckin' delighted. He's ready with his energized workout. Oh, this is actually tense. This is weirdly tense. I just hope Santa doesn't lose. I want him to stay in. Oh, no, he's nearly falling off. Come on, it's been like 20 minutes. You can do this. You can at least stay on there for an hour, everyone. Santa's making good pace. This guy is chatting while on it. No one wants to talk. Your life is on the line. They don't want to talk about how you hate flies. No, Santa! Why would you do this, Santa? Just out of curiosity, who would have gone next and how long would it have taken? Jesus, the others are staying on there for ages. He really was the weak link. You got kind of screwed here, Santa. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus, they're still going. No one has gotten off yet. Oh, Santa. Santa, you failed this with flying colors. <laughs> oh, there we go. He got off. That's surprising. He seemed happy out. He is happy out. Why did he get off? <laughs> he just wants to chat. I guess he knew the game was over. Why waste your energy? Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a way to, like, insta-kill them. Because, well, this is The Sims. But this is kind of more cruel. They've been sent to the Garden of Death, where he's just... Well, he's going to be left to die. I will light him on fire, just for a bit of fun. They're all getting their rest in. They've learned. They've learned. Oh, there's a fire next to them. Oh, God, they've woken up. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb your sleep. I don't want to cheat in the games or anything. Jeez, for a guy who can see you when he's sleeping and knows when you're awake, he's not that observant, is he? The fecker is on fire. Okay, so this has gone horribly wrong. The whole place is burning down and it's ruined their night's sleep. So uh, let's pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> All right, that was much easier. I just cheated. <laughs> that works. What are you doing here? What are you looking for? Go away. No, don't leave her in. Okay, good. Yeah, just ignore her. Imagine that. You go to visit your neighbor for the first time. Oh, she's a bit scared. What's going on down here? Are huh? you all complaining about the smell? Well, if you stopped pissing yourself, it might help. It's almost midnight. It's going to be time for the challenge. Oh, now you decide to go to bed. Well, you better get up because we're about to begin. The next challenge is a painting challenge. Whoever paints the painting worth the most most money will win. The person who paints the painting worth the least money will be eliminated. If you don't finish your painting within 12 hours, you will also be eliminated. All right, here are all our contestants ready to paint. You don't have to paint these, by the way. There's just little bits of inspiration if you want to paint any of them. You're all going to do a medium classic painting. Might want to get a move on there, villain. Or should I call you number one? I like how they're only acquiring the thing now. God, nearly all of them are doing the same painting except for this one. You are risking it all, aren't you? God, they're doing it really fast. It hasn't even been an hour yet, and it looks like they're almost done. Jesus, this challenge is going to be over in no time. Is that person done? They are. Fucking hell. That one's done too. The other one's doing a bit of a chat. Oh no, they're too uncomfortable to do the painting. Well, you should have prepared yourself sooner then. Why did you wait to sleep until 11 p.m.? They're all done except for the middle one, and I, I don't know what she's going to do. She's too uncomfortable. All right, in the interest of fairness, I'm unlocking the door so you can go back to your day-to-day -day life while 
the competition resumes with this lady. I was locking the door and it just says locked door for everyone but zero. That doesn't really clarify anything. She's pissed herself. Now, if she can go to sleep for a bit, maybe she'll have enough energy, but I don't think this is going to work. I think she's as good as dead. Right, she's getting her little sleep in. She's gardening. <laughs> you're in the mood to prune the bush, but you're not in the mood to do the painting, which could save your life. All right, she's as good as out. She can't get her mood high enough to actually paint. So let's do the judging. So contestant number three painted this one, and this is worth $64. Contestant number four painted this one, and it's worth $63. Contestant <laughs> number two did not finish. Contestant number five, $70. Good job. And number one, $62. He lost by a dollar. <laughs> the poor fecker. <laughs> He's being slain by an imaginary killer rabbit. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> we really don't make it easy, do we? Hey, Grim, got a lot of business for you today. What's up? <laughs> I like how he just happens to walk into. And the vicious imaginary rabbit strikes again. <laughs> they may as well sell the paintings and get the money. <laughs> They're all peeing themselves before the challenge, as is tradition. And stop. It is time. I think any Sims player understands this next challenge. <laughs> You're all going to get in the pool. And the first one to drown is, needless to say, eliminated. You're peeing yourself before getting in the pool. I respect that, you know. I don't like when people pee in the pool, but I never specified when people pee outside the pool. He's going for the back float strategy. That's a good idea. All right, there is your cage. Now have fun at trying to live. They're both going for the floating strategy. He's just swimming away. Just going to use as much energy as he wants. He's that confident. I think it's going to come down to who is the sleepiest. And this guy actually has the least energy, but he is the fittest, so I don't know if he'll use less energy. I guess we'll find out. Baking is great. <laughs> he likes baking. Yeah, sure. Thanks for popping in. Just check in on us. He just drops by like, hey, I know everyone's in the challenge and someone's about to die, but can I just say I love baking cookies? <laughs> oh, energy's running low. <gasps> Sims drowning to death. There he goes. Number three is gone. Oh, and he was like the favorite to win, I feel like. All right, just gotta get the others out of the pool <laughs> before <laughs> anything happens to them. I'm trying to teleport them out. Okay. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> get out of the floor, buddy. <laughs> All right. Unlock the door. You can get back to doing whatever it is you want to do. <laughs> Sleep. I don't blame him. He just collapsed. Christ almighty. That is grim. <laughs> He's just floating there. Well, speaking of grim, where is he? <laughs> it's a 1v1. We got number five versus number four. Fueling up. I like that. Gentlemen, the game is simple. Do not wake the llama. <laughs> the first one to wake the llama is eliminated. We're going to make this best out of three because this could be a pretty brief challenge otherwise. He was trying to practice. No practice allowed. All right, gentlemen, you may begin. And remember, do not wake the llama. He's scared. I'm not surprised he's scared. Holy shit, dude, you lost on your first go? Are you serious? It's like you didn't even try. I like how he brushes it off immediately, too. I like what's coming up here. Scream incoherently. <laughs> I don't blame him. There's a lot on the line here. They always start with the trash talking, but they respect each other for it. Okay, let's go. Round two. Watch that hand, mister. Okay, first go, fine. <laughs> Jesus, he's nervous. Come on. Okay, you got past your first go. Congratulations, a new personal record. Okay, we're gonna continue. <gasps> It's like they do know what's on the line or something, because the way they're doing it, they seem so nervous. Look at that handshake. He's so old. Phew. Okay, he's still in. <sighs> oh, that was confident. So mass. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> this guy. Okay, my money's on him. Yes! I mean, uh, bad. I don't know. I should be neutral here. A good job completing the game. But that is game, I'm afraid. We have a winner of the first annual Jim Pickens Squid Games. You will now be killed by the vicious killer rabbit, which is also imaginary. I hope you're happy with yourself, young man. <laughs> he does kind of look happy with himself. Yeah, he doesn't mind this. Off he goes. His spirit has been taken. Sing epilogue. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's fitting. Go ahead, Jim Pickens. Go ahead and sing to them. I like how he just reveals his identity now. He couldn't be bothered changing he just comes down in his pajamas this is just part of your prize don't worry you also get your freedom hey hey hey, hey this is part of your prize where are you going you don't get your freedom yet wait come back all right fine if you don't want the song i guess that's your choice he's just gonna stand there instead 
He's just singing away as this guy's making arrangements. So as I was saying, you get your freedom and quarter of a million dollars in cash to buy your very own house. There you go. There is your cash and let's get moving. All right, let's give you this lovely little cottage on the hill. Look at this lovely little house you've earned by killing all of your friends. And with that shot of a door, the Squid Games have been completed. Hey there, friends. Today we're going to be playing The Sims, but I've got a mod that actually allows me to kidnap other Sims. So here we are, cabin in the woods, totally off the grid. He's telling a story to himself. Well, I guess if he is off the grid, he probably doesn't have much else to do. And for once, he's lighting a fire that doesn't burn someone's house down. I was waiting for the welcoming party to arrive, but I don't think they're coming. I think I might have to go find a victim. Isn't there like an app? There's an app for everything nowadays. I could just order a victim. <gasps> a victim! I'll give her a gift, a copy of Reel Her In. <laughs> it's a little bit on the nose. If we actually manage to kidnap her, she's going to be like, oh, how did I not see this coming? Okay, just keep her distracted while the witness is here. <laughs> you go away. Okay, now kidnap Sim to cave. <laughs> The pickup just shows up. Who is his accomplice or is it one of them self-driving ones? Why is it playing cheery music and then she looks like that? Money somehow. And what do you think I'm going to do? Get an honest job? Not a chance. Yeah, five grand is a fair ask, I think. <gasps> they made it. Fantastic. Okay, now I just need to brainwash her so she will never remember. Oh, God, who are you? <laughs> what? Oh, you're just... Oh, you're a family member. Okay, I thought you were going to turn me in. But um, yeah, I hold the power here. Definitely. Yes. Um, Don't... Don't tell anyone or I'll, I'll kill you all. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, okay, that's brainwashing. I thought it'd be more like Men in Black where we just give her a little flash in the eyes and it would be all good, but no, that this works. It's also worth noting that the maker of this mod, Sacrificial Mods, has actually credited this device being made by Jim Pickens. That is the lore. You can actually even see a little Jim Pickens on the helmet. <laughs> uh, I think the machine isn't working quickly, Jim. Distract him with a song. Oh. It, it's working somehow. <laughs> yep, they're giving me tips. Got the reverb in here is great. Wait a second. That's the winner of the Squid Games. We know each other. I killed all of his friends, but he won a cottage in the woods. As you can see, it made him a very happy person. <laughs> all right, let's see. Romance. Impressed with video game prowess. Trust me, that would never work. Okay, well, he's handing it over, surprisingly. <laughs> Wait, is this the firefighter? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God! Oh, we need to get you to hospital! Thank you so much, Doc. I was just in the middle of saving a school bus full of children from an armed robber, and I took a bullet for them. I'd do it again, but in order to do it again, you'll have to save my life. Oh, he got up mid-surgery and went into this room. Okay, he wants surgery in this room instead, Doc, if that's okay. <gasps> it succeeded! Yay! I wonder, did it say it was a childbirth because it's the same procedure? You just try and push until it pops out? Ah, oh, yes. Good things do happen to good people. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doc. Now, I only have one other thing I wanted to ask you. Get in the pickup! <laughs> They're outdoor babies so that they like being outside. Seori has learned how to make... <laughs> Jim Pickens is too hot for life. He is dying. Jim has been brought back to life. Okay, good. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what is this? Are you having an epiphany? Are you deciding, oh, I should care for the children? Is that it? No, Agnes Crumplebottom passed away due to starvation and the game is guilting me, saying perhaps you're not ready for the responsibility. I don't know who this lady is. Uh, now the she's on fire. <laughs> I don't understand how because it was raining out here. It's sad is going nuts. I just want to wait till work. Come on, I'm going to speed up time and whatever happens in the next 12 hours happens. What is this? Select an agency. You're giving me nothing to pick. Go away. Oh, they're having babies. Yeah, that's a great idea. You have more babies. <laughs> I came up that she won the magic duel and, re and received for being a worthy opponent. Received nothing. Just received, you know? Wait, what is this? A hen chick has gone into labor apparently. What the hell? Why did it take me over here? What? Who is this? <laughs> Some sort of superhero? Supervillain? I don't know. There's a skeleton here. <laughs> what is happening? It popped up earlier that you died of starvation. Oh my god, everyone looks like a lunatic here. Instead of engaging the bullies, the chicken started some small talk with the bullies. So, great, that's that's great. Go on vacation with the skeleton? Mm, sure. Where are we going? <laughs> We went to the Star Wars colonies. Who even is this? Can I make the skeleton pregnant? That's a weird sentence. Pregnancy start. Okay, with this random dude. Yeah, three females. Okay, and you're in labor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> just celebrating childbirth, you know? It's a miracle, really. Even more so than normal. You cannot have a baby while on vacation. All right, let's go home then. Oh, the canteen is on fire. Do they have firefighters in Star Wars? They're just still operating their business while the whole place is burning down. I don't think I can leave the vacation until the fire stops. I'll call the fire department? Will that even work? Oh, no, the skeleton. Well, I guess they're not flammable, so it's probably best they put it out. Yeah, that makes sense. Bringing a whole new meaning to fire in the booth. I called the fire department, just my local fire department. They came all the way to space to put it out. I think they're just overwhelmed with what's going on, though. Okay, now they're putting it out. They can't put out the fire because it's not technically on the map, I don't think. Wait. Oh, no, that's not my skeleton. That's a different skeleton who has just died and is now a skeleton ghost. Okay, finally, I think we can go home. Yes, get out of here. Skeleton, you too. They're even walking with, like, a pregnant walk. All right, have baby at hospital. Yeah, join them. Wait, why did Jim just turn into this weird alien? What the hell is going on? Why? Night on the town. You know, after we're done killing all the prisoners, I just, I have to wait till they burn themselves out. There we go. There goes one. The others might actually escape from this. Wait, how did the Grim Reaper die now? I looked away for two seconds and the Grim Reaper's dead. Wait, I said call the fire department. He ran in, sat down inside the cell that's now blocked by fire <laughs> and called the fire department. He always has to be the victim, doesn't he? Yeah, you gotta fight fire with fire, says Jim, which is why he's standing directly on the fire while putting out more fire. Okay, the game just sent me to another lot. I don't know, was that part of the chaos mod or did it just get fed up with me never leaving work? But I couldn't because of the fire. All right, well, I'm home. I guess that fire will just burn itself out eventually. The hell is that? What the? I think I'm being haunted by like some salad or something or a stew, maybe. I, I have no idea what's going on. Well, time for that night on the town. Hey there, friends. So I moved every sim in one neighborhood into one apartment. As you can see, it's pretty crowded and not everyone is even in there. At the moment, one of them is on fire, and that's because I have the chaos mod installed as well, which causes random stuff to happen non-stop. Oh my god, there are actually multiple people on fire here. It's spreading pretty quick. It turns out humans make good kindling. At least there's a lot of people to use the extinguishers. <laughs> it's such a mess. Oh, now the smoke alarm is going off. It's one of those fancy new ones with the 60 second delay to make sure it's an actual fire. There are also ghosts for some reason. Acknowledge the situation. <laughs> oh no, he was just finding a good spot to rest. Could could you order a pizza, please? <laughs> I just want a piece of pizza. Oh no, <laughs> the situation is getting worse. Like they're smiling, but I, I can see that they're crying behind that smile. Look at those eyes. All right, we're just gonna cheat Jim's mood just to give him a little boost because he's not feeling well and he deserves better. Also, that is a mess of two robots sleeping on top of each other. What is this? What's that? Oh, you're dying of starvation? Oh, I'm sorry, the pizza never came. What can I say? <laughs> I'm gonna cook up a meal for them now that I'm in a great mood. Cook a grand meal. A nice turkey dinner, I think. What? what? Oh, sorry, chicken. I didn't know you were standing there when I said I was cooking up a turkey. All right, we'll make it a, a tofu turkey dinner. <laughs> I should save. You can't do this while the sim is dying, but I want to treasure this moment forever. Everyone is crying except for Jim, who's just trying to cook his tofu turkey. I wouldn't put that on the ground, dude. There, there's like 17 new viruses on that ground. There's no counter space. All right, throw away this stupid salad. You don't make friends with salad. You make friends with tofu... Tof tofu -y dinner. <laughs> I'm still working on that pronunciation. I don't think the Grim Reaper even wants to enter here. He hasn't shown up. I think he's got a good idea of what's going on here and that he may as well visit later and get us all in one go. Wait, do you? Oh, you do live here. I haven't seen you yet. <laughs> Agatha Crumplebottom. She's just bathing in there with the baby. <laughs> That's a bit odd. Like, I mean, everything's a bit odd, I suppose. <laughs> Oh no, why is this person dying? Or what was that? I, I don't even know what happened there. That looked really strange. <laughs> Okay, I think he's uh, just got mad. Yeah, he's dying. <laughs> he just laughed to death. God, I'm funny. <laughs> what the hell is this? An event? Do I look like I'm made of money? I'd have to buy like 700 tickets. I just want to cook my tofu worky, <laughs> but I can't because of the fire. <laughs> Why is everyone being so selfish? Also, just to uh, update you on the dead body situation, the Grim Reaper is not coming. So uh, there's just dead bodies on my floor along with everything else. Also, apparently skeletons are flammable. Would have never guessed. <gasps> the Grim Reaper's actually here! Wait, can I add Grim Reaper to family? Oh, welcome to the bunch. You may as well stick around. <laughs> what do you think, Grim? It's a pretty grim scythe. 
isn't it? I'll stop before you kill me next. What is this? What is going on? It, there's a social event, but it says I'm not participating in it. Is two deaths a social event? <laughs> Gang, I don't know where you're trying to go, but that elevator cannot take you all at once. How is in here on fire? There's been no one in here. <laughs> the bathroom is also on fire. Could we call the fire department? Could we get them over here? <laughs> Someone just died. They just turned into a ghost right here, right now. And what the hell is that? <laughs> I've never seen that in The Sims before. What is it? Update on the fire situation. The fire brigade has elected not to come put out the fire. <laughs> yeah, a fire in the city. In the apartment that has had 17 fires today. Yeah, I, I think we're not going to come. Why is the music so peaceful when that corpse is burning? <laughs> Collect every badge to become a scout. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about that right now. Out soon. I'm pleading with the gnome reaper to spare this person. I just want them to come back into this hell. <laughs> oh, apparently the apartment stinks too much. He's not going to listen. This is the only person who is just not bothered about everything that's happening in here. Just does not care. Can you continue my turkey dinner? Oh, you will. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. She's an Egypt though. Oh, now you can go through walls. All right, can you put this out, please? This person in this cage <laughs> must be so confused what's going on. <gasps> Did we get it? Oh my god, the fire is out. Thank goodness. Okay, can I save my game yet? <laughs> no, a sim is dying. Well, who is dying? Who is being selfish right now? Hands up if you're dying, please. This poor woman has been pregnant this entire time. This can't be good for the babies. <laughs> All this stress. Also, you're looking a bit green. Can't tell if illness or Shrek cosplay, though. Can I do anything? Reset object? Oh, oh, I think that might have worked. I still can't save, though. Oh, I hope that didn't break everything. Has anyone gone to work yet? Because I don't feel like I'm making much money here. <laughs> this person isn't at home. Oh, they just went outside to play basketball. <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh, he just died. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown reason. <laughs> Just too much dribbling. Oh, that's how we all want to go, isn't it? He died doing what he loved dribbling. Oh, it might be this one. Are you dead? Yeah, that doesn't look like sleeping. That looks like dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure people breathe if they're sleeping. So yeah, they're gone. Someone's freezing to death. Someone called Drog. I don't know who that is. With a name like that, though, I probably made them. Oh, it was Drog Delure. Oh, oh, he's down. Sorry, I had to see that. That's gonna scare you for sure. Can the Gnome Reaper come back and take this body? I really want to save my game because I feel like I've made a lot of progress here and I don't want to lose it. Going through them all, it actually appears like a lot of them are in a bad mood for some reason. <laughs> Go figure. Can people stop dying? I want to try and like invite people over, throw a party, and people keep dying selfishly. Oh, is that some fish? Hold on, hold on. Let me... No, that's tofu. Okay, let me grab that. I'm not even hungry. I've got this slight sliver missing, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's mine. I'm most in need. Eating it all in front of them as they all starve. Oh, there's a chicken here now. Great. Good thing I'm eating tofu and not chicken. Grim is loving all of this. <laughs> are you ever going to give birth? <laughs> because it really feels feels like you should be ready to give birth. I guess with everything going on, you'd probably don't want to give birth on this day. It would be the least eventful thing that happened. Oh, one of the babies got taken away. Spooky. Funnily enough, the lights went out at the same time. Spooky. Or it could be because I don't pay my bills. <laughs> one or the other. Might have been a coincidence. The skeleton has just been staring in the mirror for the last, like, hour. Okay, who are we going to marry? Oh, she likes me a lot. Invite her over. Oh, good, she's here. Maintain sim. Uh, uh, kill Sim. Oh, so many choices. What can I choose? I'm like a kid in a candy store. Uh, let's go consumed by the mother. That's how we all want to go, really, in the end. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping you'd do the animation, but instead it was just like, bleep, she's dead. Unfortunately, like, I wanted her to die so that I could get the Grim Reaper here and propose marriage, but she was selfish, I'm afraid. Okay, now come back. It was just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. You're alive in one scone and eating it alone is a celebration feast, so good job on this one. I think it's too late, folks. He's gone. Out of all the guests, I was kind of hoping he would die. He's clapping in the background. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> yeah, do some of that. It is your special day. Screw him for trying to steal. Recognize the cool hat. <laughs> okay, they're ruining the wedding. Okay, I started a fire. Um, Okay, I think everyone's distracted from the messy ceremony from, you know, the fire and the, the death and all that. Why are we not in our outfits? This is the real emergency here. More fire! And another one bites the dust. Now everyone blow bubble. Jim is burning to death. What? <laughs> what the hell? Overheating due to temperature. Okay, you're wearing a sweater, okay? You don't need to say you're burning to death. 
There we go. Show off your meaty flesh and hopefully that werewolf will bite you. I think I ate half the lot last time. Let me go check it out. Why is there a ghost? What? Okay, it, my son died. <laughs> I'm not sure how. <laughs> okay, he was reading a book and, and then what happened? He's dying from starvation. Oh, okay. Well, I did eat everything on the lot, I suppose, including the food. So <laughs> my son starved to death. Whoopsie. And look at that. They're saying I did a good job. I'm getting money. Oh, someone died. <laughs> oh, it was my coaster. <laughs> oh, no. What did she die from? I wonder, was it the werewolf bite? Or the beatdown I gave her on set? Oh, some of the crew is already transforming. <laughs> I've ruined this place, haven't I? There's another one over there. <laughs> uh, Why are you clapping? <laughs> Um, okay, let me just eat her ashes there just to really add insult to injury. <laughs> Why is this an option? All right, there she goes. Now time to fight the Grim Reaper. Why is this the most game-breaking expansion pack this game has ever had? There we go. I beat up the Grim Reaper. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Or else. More, 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 like. Right, right, more, 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 more